Money is like seed. Sow it. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 through 8. But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you always, having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. Here is an interesting truth concerning money which the Apostle Paul brings out to us here in 2 Corinthians chapter 9. He compares money to seed and then he says that uh, the giving away of money is like sowing seed. And he says when we give, when we release money from our hands, uh, we are releasing seed. Now, of course, when a farmer sows seed, uh, he is not in any way thinking that, he, uh, that sowing, the process of sowing seed is a loss to his life. Actually, on the contrary, when a farmer is sowing seed, every seed he sows into the ground, he's thinking in terms of gain. That means a seed that leaves his hand, he understands it's going to multiply, it's going to produce a harvest. So a seed leaving his hand is never a painful experience for the farmer. He is not sitting there crying, oh, this seed has left my hand. No, he is actually uh, happy that he was able to sow that seed. He, he is actually doing it with expectation, knowing that a seed that is sown is going to produce a harvest. Now, the Apostle Paul is bringing that truth to us when he talks to us about money. And he says, look, if you sow bountifully, if you sow liberally, if you sow generously, what's going to happen? You are going to obviously have a big harvest. And then he says, we do it with this understanding that God makes all grace abound towards us. And it is, that, that means when we sow, God causes that, that harvest to come back and to uh, flood our lives so that we always having an abundance uh, can abound to every good work. So here's another important biblical perspective or view of money. Money is like seeds. What are you going to do with that seed? Of course, I can hold it back, but if I hold it back, I can eat it, but it will not multiply. Now, there's nothing wrong with eating. There's part of it that we need to eat. But also remember that you can choose to sow seed, that you can choose to release it and bless others with it. And when you sow the seed, God will increase the fruit and he will cause that fruit to come back into your life. And consequently, you'll have more seed to sow. So look at money like seed. Treat it like seed. When you give it away, just remember, you're not at a loss. You're actually at a gain. Because every seed you sow will only multiply. And God will bring the harvest back into your life. Let's pray. Father God, we just ask that you will help us have this perspective about money that it is like seed. And God, that we will know how to use our seed well, that we will sow it, sow it on good ground, and that when we sow God, we know it's only going to bring gain. It'll be multiplied back into our lives. And we thank you. You are the Lord who watches over our giving. It is you, our God, you who God, who multiplies, who increases the fruits of our generosity, and you cause it to multiply back, cause it to be multiplied back, in our lives. Thank you for everything you've given in our hands today. Help us to be good stewards of it, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.